All right, let's talk about unlocking this beast. Today we're gonna go over the top 10 video accessories for the Canon R5. Okay, I have had the Canon R5 now for a couple of months. And now, I did buy this primarily as a photography camera. And from a photography standpoint, this camera is awesome. The one thing that has surprised me though is that I've been using it much, much more for video than I actually thought I would. The overheating, the quirky issues of this was something that I thought I wouldn't use it as much, but the fact of the matter is, the 4K HQ from this is so gorgeous. I have found myself sometimes needing the 8K, which I never thought I would. And this camera has become more and more in my video workflow. And because of that, I've discovered, you know, if you really wanna unlock what your camera can do, any camera, but especially the Canon R5, you need some accessories to make it work for you. And so what I want to do today, as I've been kind of doing this now for a few months, is to tell you what works for me and what I think the top 10 accessories are to get the most video out of your Canon R5. So let's start off right off the bat with the single most important accessory you can have, and that is the camera cage. You need a cage on your camera. Uh, the main reason for this is because when you're doing video, you're going to be putting extra stuff on your camera. You're gonna be having monitors, microphone, lights, you may have um, wireless transmitters. Who knows, you don't wanna be limited in what your camera can do. And having a cage just creates a great level of access. Now this is the small rig Canon R5 cage. And this is by far one of my favorite cages I've ever come across. It's unbelievably cheap. I mean, it's really well priced really, really fits the camera well. There are a couple things about it that I really love. One, you just have tons of access points. You have three eighths, quarter inches all along the top, on the sides here, on the sides. And then what I really love is on the underneath of the camera, I have a plate here so it's hard to see, there's actually a point here and a point here. There's two points of contact for your Canon R5 to fit securely in the cage. So once you put this cage in there, it feels like it's part of the camera. I use this even doing photography because it just feels so organic and natural to the Canon R5. So the first thing you need for any video work to start off with is this camera cage. Okay, and now building off the cage, let's get to the first accessory that I think you need in addition to the cage. And that is this right here. This is another small rig component. And this is the small rig NATO rail. Now this thing, is awesome. And I would consider this thing an absolutely essential thing for me. And there's a couple of reasons of that, and I'll go into them. One, look how many, it basically doubles the amount of mounting options. You have incredible, lots of quarter inch, three eighths. You actually even have an additional pinhole here for that. You have a cold shoe mount in the front and on the back, you can even do a cold shoe mount here right on the front. And then this, I love this. If you look here, here's a cold shoe mount with a lock on it. And this is awesome because a lot of you are gonna be hanging monitors on top of here. And this basically locks in what you have. The other thing that I think is great is this is so great. If you look, cause this is a NATO rail, I can literally slip this on, screw it. It's that fast and I have a totally locked on, easy to grow transportation system for my Canon R5. And this is actually how I like to walk around my Canon R5. I can put it down, I can pick it up, it's good to go. This rail is awesome, it sits on there. It's just like the rest of the cage, it just feels like it's all, it doesn't even feel like it's a separate unit, it feels like it's just part of it. And the great thing is when I need to take it off, I can screw it, boom, it's off in 10 seconds, less than that, and I'm going and going. So this NATO rail is something that I would consider very, very critical. Now. What do I wanna put on that NATO roll? Well, let's talk about something that is absolutely critical, period, for your Canon R5, and that is this. The Atomus Ninja 5. This is such a critical thing for your Canon R5, because this, in my opinion, is what really unlocks the Canon R5 and makes it from a novelty camera to a somewhat practical video camera that you can use as a professional videographer on jobs that you use. And the reasons for this are twofold. First off, you're going to want to use the 4K HQ if you're shooting on the Canon R5. And this thing lets you export that into, from the HDMI in here, and you can get the 4K HQ, and it doesn't overheat 
at nearly the rate you do if you're recording 4K HQ internal. It just exponentially increases the time that you can record that codec. So right there, you've essentially taken this from being a, a thing you're always worried about overheating of to getting something that you can actually get manageable professional record times on. The second thing is that if you, any of you have shot with a Canon R5, anything you record internally on the Canon R5 has a terrible, terrible codec once you bring it into your Adobe Premiere or Final Cut or Resolve. Well, the great thing is you can take that footage, get that beautiful 4K H2 quality, it records it as ProRes, you bring it in Premiere, butter. No problem whatsoever playing it back. You don't even really need to make proxies because it's such a kinder editing format. So it saves you time in the post-production and lets you unlock the full potential of your camera. So the Atomos Ninja 5 is no doubt something that's very, very critical for you to need. Now let's talk about the next thing, which is how are you gonna mount this thing? And this is really where I think this next thing is something that I love. I've used it for years. And this is the Manfrotto 492 LCD ball head. And this is a great, great little thing. If you look here, it's got a little ball, it's got a little cold shoe plate on the bottom. So you can pretty, put it on any cold shoe mount. It's got a really, really sturdy industrial kind of lock there. And you know, you can just put it in there. And now what's great about that is if I take this, and I just basically screw it down here in the bottom of my Ninja. Check that out. I can now take this, use this locking mechanism that I have on the handle of my NATO rail. I slip it right in, lock it down, tighten it. I'm gonna go ahead and, and get that boom, and boom, it is on there. All right, so look at that, guys. No shake, no rattle. It is really secured on there. And the great thing that I have as someone that's actually lost monitors on set that slipped out of cold shoe mounts is this will not slip in. That lock will keep it in, and this thing is great. And I've used cheap ball heads before for camera securities, and guys, you don't wanna be on a set and have your camera flopping over while you're shooting. A, it just looks unprofessional in front of the client, and B, and most importantly, it's just really annoying. It takes away from your flow of the shoot. You wanna have something you can lock in, you know it's going to be good and great. I actually have three of these in my case because I love them so much, so definitely recommend that. That's a critical, critical thing that I have in every bag that I have. Okay, now, next essential thing I think is this, and that is simply your Canon EF to RF mounts. Now, I did a video I'll put a link up here to it on why I decided to go with EF mounts versus RF mounts for my Canon R5 system. The EF mount to RF adapters that Canon has made are so good and so amazing that I feel they unlock the potential of your camera even more. And the real thing is, you know, you can take any EF lens, slip it right on there, it pops on just like if this was an EF lens, right? But I have things I can put the extra rings here on this adapter and I actually have the drop-in ND system that can do the same thing. So I can take my camera now with this modifier and have drop-in ND filters. It's the closest thing you'll get to having internal ND filters on a camera. This has been amazing. When I do video work, I use it all the time because it is so nice to have the convenience of having those ND, a variable ND I can slip in right here behind the lens, not a big map box. I don't have to worry about screwing it in when I switch lenses. It's always there ready to go. So the EF to RF adapters that Canon makes, man, they're a critical accessory. Make sure you pick them up if you are shooting video for the Canon R5. All right, so let's talk about, we got our monitor, we got our base, all this stuff hooked up, but now we gotta get the signal from the R5 to the monitor. And the first thing I would say, that brings me to my next essential accessory, and that is this. I have right here HDMI locks for my Canon R5. And once again, this is all part of the small rig system. You can kind of tell I, this, that small rig, in my opinion, has really knocked it out of the park for making Canon R5 accessories. I'm not sponsored by them in any way, shape, or form. This is just my honest opinion as someone that's been using the gear in the field. But what you have here is you have an HDMI lock system from small rig. And this is great. You basically just screw it in right here with some hex screws. And what it has is you have locks here for your HDMI and your USB. 
and just scoot it on in there and do it. Now, this is very, very important because unfortunately, the Canon R5 does use those micro HDMIs, which break very, very easy. And I love this because once I slip my micro HDMI in there, I've never had a problem with it. I know it's secure. It's a worry off my mind and does it. So small rig HDMI locks, definitely another accessory you should get. Now, let's talk about the cable. And I know this is one thing that we don't think about that much, but cables actually make a big difference. You wanna make sure you have a cable that's fast enough and sturdy enough that's worth doing it. And this is one that I found, and this is a ZILR HDMI cables. And there's a couple things I love about them. First of all, I love the size. This is the perfect size for me to get from my Canon R5 up to my monitor. I don't really like having long cables, having to deal with and all that stuff. The other thing that's really great, they're really sturdy. They get great information. And I know this is a small thing, but they actually come with this little bag. And honestly, I've used these bags and put all my cables in there. It's just great for organization. It's a small thing, but I really like it. And the great thing about it is these things are so good. You just slip it right in, boom, good to go. Nice little system. You can see now the length of this cable, how out of the way that is. I love that I can just shoot with this. It's not a problem. Really out of the way, really, really helpful. Super, super awesome. All right, so the next accessory that I could not live without is this. This is the Peak Design camera strap. And you're kind of like, well, why would you need a camera strap? And honestly, what makes these things great is not the camera strap itself, which is nice. It's actually the mechanism by which you employ it. And if you look at the Peak Designs, they actually have this quick release setting here. Very, very tough that you can literally just slip your strap on. So I can literally sit here, I just push a button down and boom, all of a sudden I'm locked in. It is this fast to go. Love it, it's awesome, it's great. Why do I need that? Well, when I'm shooting throughout a day, sometimes I'm doing handheld where I want, might want a strap. Sometimes I wanna go on a gimbal. I don't wanna have to sit there and do the strap. Literally, I wanna take the strap off. It is this fast to get rid of my straps and they're gone and I can run and gun. So these things are great. The other thing about it, it's a comfortable strap and these things are tough. I've had some of these on my old cameras for five, six years and they look as good as the day I got them. So if you get them, you know you're gonna have these straps forever. And the great thing too, you only need one camera strap because what happens is you can buy these individually and then just flip them out through your system, which is what I do. I have one camera strap but I have this on every camera that I own so I can just run and gun and do it. And also my bag's not overflowing with straps and stuff too. Critical, critical thing. I absolutely love it. Use it all the time. Okay, and my next essential thing, if you are a filmmaker, is just this. It's just a, a, a classic road shotgun mic. You need to get yourself some type of shotgun mic for your Canon R5. And the reason for that is one, you know, these cameras aren't really designed for microphones and this just gets you a little better use and even if you are using external sound i have found myself in numerous cases so thankful i had this as a backup just to get maybe ambient sound that may help with my sound design later on or lord forbid something goes wrong i at least know i have some type of reasonable backup on that so a shotgun mic especially one that's small and sturdy like this this is a great one by road Really, really important to have. I would definitely consider this something you need on your kit. Okay, and now for my last essential piece of uh, video gear. And this is a little weird, but I love it. It's one of my things that I do. And it is basically, I have a 15 millimeter rod here with a 15 millimeter hand grip. And why would I want this? Well, this ties in directly back to this amazing small rig NATO grip. And if you look here, I can take this small rig NATO grip. I can slip this right in there. And boom, look at that. I have a perfect run and gun situation. If I wanna use my EVF, I can use my EVF. I can use my monitor, you name it, I can run and gun. This is a perfect, super, super flexible, gives me good control. I love this setup. I couldn't live without it. One of my favorite things to shoot, especially if I'm doing handheld. When I'm using things like this, I tend to go handheld. So there you go, the Canon R5, my 10 most essential accessories that unlock the full potential of what you can get 
from this little puppy. Anyway, I hope that was helpful. Please leave me any comments down below. I'd love to hear what you consider your essential components that you've built up your Canon R5. Let me know if you have any comments down below. You have any questions? Yeah, guys, go out there, keep on shooting, and I'll talk to you soon.